How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the clouds that you see on the world map here. You know how they kind of like scrolling a little bit, they're kind of see-through. It adds a little bit of atmosphere and I think it really it goes a long way. This little little tiny thing. I don't know if you guys can tell. You can kind of see the clouds. Uh, we could make them more visible or less visible. With uh, It's very easy to do that and I'll show you. So um, we're going to be using a GAL plugin for this. Now the plugin that we're going to be using, it could be used for a hundred different things. Now this isn't a full tutorial on how to use GAL's plugin. This is just going to show you how to use that plugin to make this cloud effect. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to have to do, I'll put a link in the description below. You're going to get GAL's layer graphics plugin. Um, you're also going to need to add a new folder to your IMG folder. Uh, so it's really easy to do that. You can, you can see that it says it in the help file. If you want to learn more what this plugin, plugin can do, check out the help file. It's pretty complex, what everything it can do, but it's pretty easy how well we're going to do it. So let's go to game, open folder. Inside your IMG folder, right click and create a new folder and then call it layers. Once you've done that, I'm going to put a link in the description below for the cloud files that I've made for it. And you can make your own clouds. Uh, if you do make your own clouds, there's a little tip for you. Make sure that the edges of all of these pictures are transparent. Or if they're not transparent, make sure that they're the same color as like the blank space in between your clouds. Um, so you can make way cooler clouds than I've got here. But just keep in mind that you want the edges to not be uh, like you don't want the clouds to go to the edges because if you do you're going to see lines when it's scrolling past unless you just have the clouds static which doesn't seem realistic so a uh, quick tip make the edges kind of like match like I've got right there alright okay so once we've got those uh, that folder layers and you've got these files uh, or your own files what you want to do is go to the map that you want it on edit the map in the no tags, what you want to do is add the word in capital layer and put a space, the event ID or the map ID. So how do you find this number that you, the second thing you put in? Well, it's on the top left corner. So you can see at the top left, it says ID 033. So that's what we're going to put right there, 033. Then we're going to put the name of the cloud file you want. I'm using DG Clouds 3. Just put that, spell it, make sure you do cap sensitives, whatever, however you, whatever file you want. If you're using the ones I'm providing, this is the one I recommend. Uh, but I also have DG Clouds, DG Clouds 2, and DG Clouds 3. Uh, excuse me. They're essentially the same thing. They're essentially the same thing, except different resolutions. So you can have more variance because uh, you can have it like kind of uh, shifting as you move around or you can have it follow the camera. Um, you can also have it scrolling up uh, at an angle, diagonal, just left, just right, any way you want. So this uh, first one right here is which way is it scrolling uh, on the X value. So if you do 0.5 it's going to be scrolling horizontally very slowly. And this is Y so uh, it's it's the Y value so it's not going up or down, it's sort of just scrolling left or right with this X. So this is the scroll X, the scroll Y. This number is our opacity so you can make them more visible right now they were kind of see-through let's kind of exaggerate it let's make them like clearly visible so I'm gonna uh, increase the op opacity there now this next number is important if you're making clouds with this plugin because uh, everything is like on a, a layer uh, everything is drawn to certain layers so layer 5 is above all of the stuff if layer 5 is the top so if you want the the clouds to be drawn above the player which you probably do so you're gonna put this to 5 then this is the the next two values are the X shift and the Y shift. Uh, if you want them to move with the camera, which I think looks best, just leave these at zero. But these are, I believe, in pixel values per every time you put an input in. So you can, I found out uh, that around 35 would kind of scroll or negative 35 would kind of scroll as you move and it looks like kind of static a little bit. Just use zero as in my opinion. Now the last thing is the blending mode. So you can have zero, one, two, or three for the last parameter here. And uh, I think you have to have the most recent version of MV, at least 1.3 something to get to have this, uh, the last blend mode. Um, but I think that zero and one 
uh, look really good. Uh, two kind of makes everything look dark and it kind of looks like you're seeing spots unless you change the art up. So really just play around with this last number. It'll really change it around quite a bit. I found that I like three the best because it doesn't make it super overexposed and it doesn't make it too dark. So I like the third blend mode. Uh, so that's what I'm using and I'll put it I'll have this up. I probably already have it up right here. Uh, so you can copy uh, in big letters right there the note tag you're going to put. Now keep in mind that the second number is going to be different for you. It's going to be your ID right there. And it's the third one is going to be the third parameter it's taking is going to be the name of the file. So that'll be different if you're making your own files. But that's pretty much it. Um, once you've done that, okay, we've changed the opacity from 100 to 200, so now we should be able to see the clouds a whole lot more than we did before. Let's have a look at that and see how it looks. You can see that the clouds really pop out quite a bit more. It also is throwing more of a blue tint, right, because the file that I, that I made has a bright blue tint, so it's, it's uh, making the character look you know more blue it's making everything look a bit more blue so you might want to change the color that's drawn you could even make it transparent uh, and then it'll have no tint you can also compensate this uh, by tinting the screen a different color and really manipulate the saturation of it so um, you can really do a lot with this plug and I think it looks too blue right now so I'm still gonna have to mess around with it mess around with it quite a bit um, that's another reason why I have the transparency so low, uh, the opacity at 100. It, I like the way the clouds look, but it's such a bright blue color. Um, I think maybe before I send these files out, what I'll do is edit the saturation and maybe even grayscale the image a bit. So that might uh, make a difference. So yeah, um, let's see what else can I show you. If we edit the last parameter, like I said, you might want to play around with it. So it can do 0, 1, 2, or 3. So let's look at uh, 0, and uh, this is the blend mode, and the difference in the blend mode. So this is the first blend mode. Now you really, really see the color of this one. That's why I like the third blend mode. See, it's way too blue, right? It doesn't even look right. It looks pretty, pretty bad. Um, Let's edit and change the parameter to 1. Now we're going to look at the same picture that's being uh, scaled. It's not actually being scaled. It's being drawn to the map and then shifted. So this is the same picture but with different, um, different draw modes. Look how overexposed that looks, right? So that's why I don't like 0 and I don't like 1 uh, too much. And 2 is going to change it up quite a bit. It's going to create like the opposite effect. It's going to make it darker, I think. Uh, let's have a look at it and see what it does. Yeah, so that the blue actually really pops out if you're trying to make it nighttime. So, but it also makes the clouds look like more of a shadow, which is, which might be what you're looking for. So it's really up to you to decide. To me, it looks like a, a, a lack of oxygen, and I'm seeing spots. It's kind of kind of weird it has a different look but I'm not a super big fan of it uh, like I said I prefer the last blending mode so we'll set that to 3 make sure your MV projects uh, up to date at least with version 1.3 in order for this last blend mode to work correctly um, yeah so that's uh that's pretty much it with that this plugin is super cool guys play around with it a little bit and see what you get I'm gonna go 125 opacity and um, what I might want to do with these is probably edit the saturation on them. Let's uh, layer this from background and possibly edit the brightness. No, not the brightness. Let's edit uh, vibrance. Let's let's take the saturation way down and the vibrance way down. Wait, that's too much. What if we go like that? Just like that. Boom. Now let me file save this. Um, we're going to save it as a PNG. <clears throat> yeah, keep in mind all of the files will have to be PNG. So that's on 2. Boom. Boom. So let's go ahead in the game and look at that. We need to edit the actual one that we're looking at. So we were looking at 3 and I edited 2. So let's have a look at that. So the, the Cloud 2 file that I'm going to put a link in the description below is actually uh, 1280 by 720. 
Wow, that actually looks a lot better. There's not that blue tint over it. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll drop the saturation so that you don't get that blue tint on these free files. But I would encourage you to make, try to make your own clouds and mess around with this plug and to see what you guys can come up with. But yeah, do you guys like this plugin? Like this idea? You have any special requests? Put them in the comments. Like this video if you like these sort of uh, tutorials that are you know specialized to do one spe a specific thing. If you were wondering how to make clouds or like a fog effect, this plugin is really cool, guys. Galv's got a lot of really awesome plugins that you should check out. Uh, I'll probably do some more tutorials upcoming on Galv's plugins because uh, they're getting they're super cool. They're, he's got quite a few now. But yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Thank you guys for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up. All that great stuff. Follow me on Twitter. I'm at Driftwood Gaming. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.